Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a bunch of makeup. No, not a bunch of makeup. I have a few bits of new makeup that I wanted to try uh, with you guys. So let's get started. I have already moisturized my face. Uh, then to begin with, I will use this NY Bay Primer. I will use just a little bit. Okay, this is quite clear. Uh, this feels like that typical silicone base primers. I'll use it on my cheek areas because I have a little um, pore situation over here. And I also take it under my eyes. Feels really smooth. And the good thing is it doesn't roll up. You know, some of the primers when you uh, try to apply it on your face, it rolls up and bunches up and that's really not cute for foundation i'll be using this ny bay foundation concealer contour color corrector stick comes in such packaging this is how the product looks like and then you open it up and this is how it looks i got this in the shade i'm going to coney island caramel number no. four i have used this once and it's quite creamy and it Color matches to me quite well. If you are a shade close to me, uh, for reference, I am uh, NC42 in MAC and in Maybelline Fit Me, I am 322. So I'm just gonna put some stripes all over my face and look all cute. And to blend, I'm gonna use this Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna uh, buff it really well into the skin this has pretty good coverage you can use it pre pretty much for every day um, for oily skin girls like me this will be too heavy I feel but for normal and dry skin this will be a good foundation for every day this blends out very easily like there are no patchiness I'm gonna go over my red spots just to build up the coverage and hide those spots and probably here and just use my fingers to blend it out the shade match is really good for concealer i have ny bay hd spotless liquid concealer this says it camouflages skin irregularities long wear and creaseless even skin tone blends like a dream lightweight formula and provides natural looking coverage so I have used this once already and it has a very uh, lovely yellow undertone. So it does cancel out the darkness under my eyes. And I usually take another concealer and go over this so it doesn't look as yellow. And yeah, I got this in the shade Coffee Pretzel. So if you are looking for an inexpensive concealer, for everyday use I think you should try this out because it gives a very lovely coverage and it's really nice for everyday wear it does crease under my eyes because everyone has crease lines under their eyes but with a little bit of setting powder it does a really good job you see how instantly it evens out everything on an everyday basis I think I can just use it all over my red spots and just finish it off with the regular compact powder and i will be good to go just to highlight a little bit i will take my maybelline age rewind concealer in medium add a little bit under the eyes and on the lids and probably in the center For foundation, I have this Maybelline Fit Me Skin Fit Powder Foundation and I picked up the shade 310 Sun Beige and this is how it comes in the packaging. This is how it looks. So you get a sponge and the powder foundation on one side. I feel this is a tad bit lighter than my uh, Maybelline Fit Me powder in 310 both are in the shades 310 you see how the maybelline fit me powder is a tad bit warmer than the powder foundation so i'm going to take a little bit of the powder on a setting brush and set my under eyes it has a good sized mirror also 
so it's nice for traveling and to set the rest of the face also i will use the same powder foundation okay so this looks a smidge lighter on me i hope it settles down and suits me better in some time for eyebrows i have this new eyebrow pencil called brow killin bridge eyebrow pencil it's i got this off from purple.com and i will use this just to fill in the sparse areas in my brows i already have pretty thick brows so i think the shade black uh, looks quite all right on me but if you have very thin brows then i think uh, you should get the shade brown i will share the link of these products below in the description box so if you're interested to buy do check out the description box below i like that this is not very pigmented so even though it's black it doesn't looks unnatural on my brows okay now let's move on to eye shadow this is the beauty glazed color studio eye shadow palette and these are the shades i have already used it in one of my previous videos for diwali and today also i'm going to use this beautiful gorgeous palette so today i'll probably stick to these purple and pink shadows okay so first i'm going to go with this very light baby pink color as my transition hit it in the crease area and a little above that once i'm happy with the pink transition shade uh i think i'm going to go with this pink color in the crease so guys tell me how was your diwali did you have fun i hope you all didn't burst crackers did you all have good food bahut sari mithaiyan khai ki nahi do let me know in the comments section below then i'll keep building the color till the time i think it's pigmented enough now i'll take this purple color and hit it in my outer v area i'll take it on the same brush and just pat it i'm not going any higher with the purple color when you are working with bright colors make sure you take extra time to blend the shades otherwise it will look very patchy now i'm going to take the first transition shade again and just blend out the edges a little bit more i think this is a pretty decent blend i'll go again with the purple shade and hit the v area again make it a little bit more intense yeah that's cool now i'll take this beauty liquid eye shadow in the shade 3 champagne and use it on my lid area is such a gorgeous shade oh my god and do a little cut crease situation and i'll blend out the edges and make it mesh with the purple really gently i'll give it a minute to dry so guys i'll quickly do the other eye and be right back okay guys i'm back i am really not liking the foundation on my skin it's looking very heavy and it's getting into my creases like my under eye creases are looking so deep it's not that deep actually and even my forehead creases it's like getting inside my wrinkles so this is the end I'm talking about the NY Bay foundation concealer. I think it will look pretty well as a spot concealer all over my face but not as a full-fledged foundation especially for oily skin girls. If you have normal or dry skin, I think it will work pretty well. Now moving on to the lower lash line, I will take the same pink eye shadow and run it through my lash line. Oh, and and i also did a really teeny tiny winged liner okay. 
and also run the purple only at the outer corners let's do, let's highlight the inner corners i'm going to take the oddbow highlighter on a small little detailer brush and just hit the inner corners and also highlight the brow bone i love highlighting the brow bone i think no i look looks complete without this also let's curl the lashes and apply some mascara Now I'll use some bronzer. I don't have a new bronzer, so I just use the Eric Girl face powder in chestnut. Also, with a small little angular brush, I'll contour my nose ever so slightly. Also I'll take the same oddbow highlighter mix all three shades and hit it on the highest points of my face I love highlighting I do go overboard sometimes Okay now the face is done now let's move on to the lips For lips, I'll be using this Bella Vaste Matte Lip Crayon in the shade Truly Madly Deeply. This is like a very bright magenta shade. So guys this is the finished makeup look it's very bright it's very pink and i enjoyed creating this look i have never gone this bright on eyes and lips both at a time so this is quite an interesting makeup look for me hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you have used any of these products do let me know in the comment sections below and yeah i'll see you guys soon in the next video bye bye